Good morning. Happy Soulful Sunday, everybody. Samhain. All of the wonderful magic for all my little witches out there. I love you. For anybody who is new into my channel, my name is Stephanie Carlson and I am of Mer Magic Healing. I am a soul coach, meditation guide, as well as an intuitive reader. This here is a collective message for your beautiful Sunday. Samhain energy, all about, I'm still learning about Samhain, but this time of year is when the veil is the thinnest between the spiritual realm and the physical realm. And so our ancestors and our loved ones all come forward. And I mean, they're always with us. It's just this time of year, we hold the ability to be able to feel it deeper and easier. And so it's really nice to know that, you know, we're forever surrounded, we're never alone. And, you know, we feel, we feel their arms around us and the love that emanates through us. And, you know, it's really, so what does the collective, what do our beautiful angels and ancestors, I am, if you have not Musing Melissa Romax of Romax Studios. Uh, this is the astrology deck, um, esoteric astrology. I honestly like not very good at astrology. I'm learning, but having this deck, I have learned even more, which is amazing. Um, I really enjoy it. And then we're also going to get, so I'm going to shuffle here, see what comes out. Uh, it is a collective reading. It is not a personal reading. So I always say take what resonates and discard the rest because not every message is for you. If this has hit your for you page, I mean, definitely stick around and see what the messages are. All right. So our first card was in Cancer, which is la, a cardinal sign. And it says, dominating your environment will only push away that which you wish to achieve here. Step back to see the wider perspective. So this really tells me, like, so cancers are a water sign. Water signs are all about emotions, right? So where are your emotions guiding you? And sinking into the softness of them as opposed to feeling like you have to be hard, right? Like... If you have to force something, it's not meant to be. Like anything that is meant to be will never have to be forced. And dominating your environment, like there's a process of showing up for the universe to show them that that's what you want. And then there's also a process of surround surrendering because you trust and have faith that it is going to come to you because it does like a walking freaking like oh my god like walking statement okay of like when one door opens another one closes ha and so their next card is in pisces another water sign in the 12th house so pisces rules the 12th house or it's um it's the ruling house is the 12th house and it says, I dream, shadows, light, validation, and ascension. So what are you dreaming about? Walk through the shadows of like your shadows and your light, right? So shadows, shadows are just light energy that have yet to be transmuted. The light is all that you are. You are your own validation within your own ascension process. Because what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is another cancer. <laughs> so again, all the water today. All the water, guys. All the emotions. All the feelings. What are they telling you? Okay, so the ruling planet for cancer is the moon. And it says new moon for new beginnings and full moon for making space for what you want. Decide and follow through. So that very much goes in hand with this of the like, what are you dreaming about? And does it resonate? Is it in alignment? Is it 
Does it speak to your soul in a way that like nothing else does? And then use the energy of the universe and the planets to anchor in and create those shifts and changes. Because, you know, new moons, absolutely. New moons are all about like setting intentions. It's the reminder that when even in darkness, the moon still shines. It's still just as powerful. It's still just as radiant. It doesn't matter whether it's bright in the sky or if it's in its moments of darkness, it is still exactly as it is meant to be. And so through that process of you bringing that energy into you, then you use the energy to set your intentions and inspire within your darkness because you're going inwards to then cut any cords and let go of all that's no longer serving you under the full moon because you feel complete within embracing the perfect and imperfect pieces of all that you are. I hope all of that makes sense because yeah, I mean, hey, freaking shadow jack, change. You don't see coming is the change that you have been asking for. Spirit just wants to know, are you willing to go through it? All right, let's see what other cards we got. Do we have a couple clarifiers, Spirit? And thank you for these beautiful messages. Yeah, you know, and it's really interesting because I'm at the gem show this weekend and I was talking to one of the guys from the store and, you know, and men specifically, right? Like you guys carry such a deep seated belief of like, and conditioning of you have to be strong. You have to be hard. You have to be, well, I have to be all put together because I have to be there. Da, 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 da. And it's like, okay, but you also have softness and femininity in you. And that in no way makes you any less of a person or any weaker of a person. It actually makes you a stronger person to be able to step into your vulnerabilities with strength and confidence and courage because you understand that you're going to get through to the other side. It's all about shifting the perspectives, right? Like relationships end, people move away, like all the things, like it's all sad, but it is the process of like when things leave us, it's because it's creating space for something new to come in. And if you're so busy holding on to, I have to know what it looks like, then you get in the way of allowing the beauty of how it is meant to come to be to just cross your path. You just show up and fucking magic happens. Cuz. Hey. Ah. Ha! It's all a part of the ascension. We're all on an ascension journey. Your whole entire life is about you transcending who you came here to be in this life and in your experiences. You know, it's about you're going to go through the same lesson over and over and over and over but you're doing it because of the fact that every single time you go through it you get through it faster and you also see it and go through it from a different perspective so that you can see all of the cycles to come full cycle and then you release it and let it go you know I mean I carry like deep, deep, deep seated like trauma, right? Like, and I mean, trauma for me is relationships. That's, you know, and like six months ago, I would never actually be able to admit that. No, 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 I don't, well, I don't know what you're talking about. But at the end of the day, me making those steps and going through what I went through has helped me get to the point where I'm now in a position to use my trauma to inspire, to empower, to encourage. And sharing my stories inspires another person. 
it honestly, like you share your story with somebody who is going through something and whether you think it matters or it holds like any valor or anything, like you're basically laying out a roadmap for them to be able to get through what they're going through. And that is amazing because when you go through the dark night of the soul, a lot of this coming up. Um, dark night of the soul is again, sitting with your shadows, sitting with your vulnerabilities, sitting with those aspects of yourself that you deem less than worthy so that you can step into and wash the energy of your past to create space for what you want to call in to your future. And I find it very interesting that that is the message considering it's the last day of October. It's happy Halloween. And you know, tomorrow is rabbit rabbit. So again, it's a new beginning, right? We are going to be coming into a new moon and everything like that. And so really using the energy of this time to connect in, step out of your own way, you know, journal, write out what you want to create, set a plan, set goals for yourself, allow yourself to dream like a child so that when you put it on paper, you can actually create a practical plan. So I hope you all love this. We're going to put our hands on our heart space. We're going to anchor in all of these beautiful messages from spirit so that as we shift through the dark night of our soul, we release our shadows and step into our light along our ascension journey. We allow the space to get out of our own way. Grounding down. And may you have the most beautiful day. If you want any of these decks of cards, you can send an email to romaxstudios at gmail.com or uh, check out Romax Studios, www.romaxstudios.com. And uh, they are beautiful cards. Uh, she just came out with deck five, which is amazing. I'm really, really, really excited for the deck. And yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. If you would like to do a personal reading or touch base, definitely drop me a message or a comment and we'll connect. Take care, guys. Mwah. Hi. I'm going to go play with some more rocks. Oh, yeah. By the way, come on down to the big four, to the Gem and Mineral Show of a Silver Cove. It is amazing, and there's all the wonderful goodies. Mwah. Bye, guys.